breakfast, we're starting with eggs of course. Today I decided to go with boiled, so I'm just adding a few in some boiling water to boil while I prep the rest of my breakfast. And I got this seeded bagel, so I'm adding one in the toaster to toast. And while my bread is toasting, I'm cutting up some fruit for the side. I've been really loving oranges lately, especially the tangy ones, so I'm cutting one up and then topping with a few spoonfuls of pomegranate, as it's their season now and they're so tasty. And now my bagel is toasted, so I'm adding it to my plate and then topping with some cream cheese on top. I also topped with some smoked salmon, as I find that so festive for some reason. I then topped with some fresh lemon juice on top and black pepper. Lastly, I added some thin cucumber slices and then served a couple of boiled eggs on the side. I love this breakfast as it's so yummy and filling and the smoked salmon makes it a bit more special. I just love the bagel combination, it's a classic one and so delicious. For snacks slash lunch, I had a quick yogurt bowl, so I'm serving up some Greek yogurt in my bowl. I then topped with a few handfuls of raspberries and a big spoonful of Greek honey. And I also had a couple of clementines on the side too. These ones look so beautiful and they were so nice and tangy, just how I like them. And then dinner time, I'm making a roast, so I'm starting by prepping my roast potatoes. I started by peeling them and then cut them in big chunks at an angle, trying to make them as equal size as possible. I then added some boiling water to my pan and added my potatoes to boil for a bit before they go into the oven. I usually boil them for about 10 minutes. And while they're boiling, I went ahead and did the prep for my roast chicken. I crushed a couple of garlic cloves to use and then added my chicken on my pan. I added some olive oil and then for spices I'm using thyme and rosemary so I'm just adding a few teaspoons of each. I'm also adding a teaspoon of these chilies and then using my hands to massage all the spices into the chicken. Lastly, I added the garlic cloves and then drained the potatoes and added them around the chicken. I also added a bit more olive oil and spices for the potatoes. I then baked it in a preheated oven at around 200 degrees Celsius. And while the roast is in the oven, I'm prepping the rest of my veggies, so I grabbed a few parsnips and started chopping them in medium pieces. I think this shape is called baton, but let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. And I love Brussels sprouts, so I'm prepping them by chopping the end bit and then cutting them in half. And my favourite way to have them is roasted, so I'll be cooking them together with the parsnips. So once all the veggies were ready, I added the parsnips in the pan and then the Brussels sprouts. I added some olive oil and seasoned with salt and pepper and for the parsnips I'm also using Herbes de Provence. So I just added about a teaspoon and then used my hands to mix the spices around. I then added the veggies in the oven too. After about half an hour I took my chicken out, flipped it and then covered it with foil and put it back in the oven. And I find that makes the chicken cook through without burning. And now my Brussels sprouts are also done, so I'm just removing them from the baking pan and into a bowl and putting the parsnips back in the oven as they needed a bit more time to finish cooking. And after about 10 minutes the parsnips were also done and look how perfect they look. And then after half hour of the chicken being cooked with the foil, I took it out of the oven, removed the foil and let it bake for another 15 minutes or so, but the overall cooking time depends on the size of the chicken. And now we're finally ready to plate up, so I'm adding some rocket to my bowl and then topping with some fresh orange slices. And I'm also adding some pomegranate as that's my mom's salads combo and to me it seems so wintry and festive. I then served myself some chicken, I'm adding a chicken thigh and some chicken breast and then loads of roast potatoes and parsnips and brussels sprouts. I'm basically doing a big mountain of food as I had such a light day today so I was ready to enjoy a big bowl of food. I love a roast, I know it takes a few hours to prepare but I just love how cozy it feels, it's definitely one of my favourite British meals. parsnips are amazing. We don't have them in Greece. They're still a novelty to me. I mean, I've never had them in Greece. I don't know if you've ever found them in Greece, but I feel like it's such a British vegetable and so good. Let's try the chicken. Mmm, very good. Mm. Mm. All the elements, perfection. So Christmassy with the thyme and the rosemary. It's a nice mix to my usual one because I usually put paprika. Brussels sprouts as well. I've been craving sticky tough pudding all day and it's the perfect dessert after a roast dinner so let's make it. So this is the lazy version of sticky toffee pudding, but honestly this was so good. I just baked it in the oven for 20 minutes and served some in my bowl with some pistachio ice cream. And I know vanilla would have been better, but I was actually surprised at how good pistachio worked with it. And I'm not a big fan of caramel, but I just love sticky toffee pudding, probably one of my favorite British desserts. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite British dessert and what's your favorite ice cream. Mine is definitely pistachio. It's Sunday and we're starting the day with a family walk and today was such a nice wintry day, there's still some leaves but you can definitely see the change in season. And of course Els is loving life and playing fetch.
and classic English weather. It started raining after a bit, but thankfully I was prepared this time with my umbrella and hood. Back at the house and I decided to make something different for breakfast, so I'm starting by emptying a packet of these chicken sausages in my bowl. I season with pepper and then use my fork to mash all the sausages. I then sprayed some olive oil spray on my pan and formed four little patties from the sausage mixture. I let them cook for a few minutes and then flip them to the other side and let them cook for a few more minutes. And while the sausage patties were cooking, I'm making a quick avocado spread. I cut and scooped out an avocado and mashed it with my fork. I then cut and de two tomatoes and added them to the avocado. I also added a bit of basil and then seasoned with salt and pepper and added some lemon juice. I gave it a good mix and the avocado spread is ready. I then got some of these English muffins and cut them in half to toast. I'm also frying some eggs to add to my breakfast muffin. So now we're ready to assemble. I added my muffin and then topped with the avocado spread. I then added my sausage patty and a slice of cheese. Lastly, I added the egg and topped with the muffin top. And I decided to do a bit of meal prep at the same time, so I just prepped an extra breakfast sandwich to have it in the next few days as a quick breakfast. I just added the toasted muffin in some foil, topped with the avocado, sausage and cheese. I skipped the egg as I wasn't sure how nice it would be after a day or two, and I wrapped it up and put it in the fridge. And to have with my breakfast, I'm also cutting up some fruit, as I'm trying to eat more fruit these days, so I'm doing a kiwi and a couple of these mandarins, easy pillars, I'm not sure how they're called, I think I called them something different earlier. But yeah, they're delicious, I think I had the whole carton about within the weekend. And that was breakfast. And more clementines, I told you I was obsessed. And then we went to a cute little street market which was so nice and festive. And we picked up this arancini from one of the stalls and I shared it with James, although to be honest I wasn't a big fan so I only had a couple of bites. Later on we visited some friends and they had some nibbles so I had a bit of everything and these vegan smoked salmon bites were amazing, I had so many of those. Back in the house and as you can tell it was a chilly day as I'm wearing the thickest jumper ever. So I just grabbed a few leftovers from yesterday and just adding them in a baking tray to warm up for dinner. And while they're warming up, I'm also serving some salad leaves and some coleslaw that James made. And then serving the parsnips, brussels sprouts, chicken and potatoes, basically the same as last night's dinner, which was so nice to enjoy without having to cook again. And then for dessert, I also had bought this cherry bakewell pudding, so I'm baking it in the oven together with the leftover sticky toffee pudding from the day before. And that was my little dessert plate, unfortunately I was out of ice cream, so I just had them like this, but they were still so good, although I wasn't a big fan of the cherry bakewell. I kind of wish I had more sticky toffee, but it was still great to finish the day with something sweet. So I enjoyed my dessert with some Netflix, of course. Comment down below what's your favorite Christmas movie, by the way. I think mine is The Holiday, it's so good. I hope you enjoyed this festive video, if you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. And comment a Christmas tree if you made it this far. Okay, bye!